our biggest struggle was actually thinking about how to get our music out there. Because now, um, anyone can just record on their phone, on their microphone. They, anyone can produce now, and there are producers. So, the biggest challenge was actually getting our content out there and getting people to notice them like, um, above everyone else. out garage morning we wanted to be siguro mga alternative rock kind of sound but lately we've been, we've been like adjusting the new sound para ko ano mas mas maganda or the things we come up with ganun uh, yun hindi ko siya ma-describe talaga na one kind of sound kasi we're still starting out we're bo we've only been like here for for like a year and we're very open to change this thing. Grudge Morning started when we, uh, me and Roy uh, were back in the first year of uh, high school. Uh, we formed it with the, another friend of ours uh, 10 years ago. And then like uh, we we started playing, doing covers, uh, really trying to make our songs at the same time, but it didn't work for a while. So uh, ten years after uh, we started uh, putting the project back again and uh, starting to form a, a real uh, rock band, that, you know, to play gigs. Garage Morning came from, uh, I, I basically based it uh, from a band name uh, my cousin had back in uh, high school. It's called the La Salle Morning Band. So, uh, just kind, kind of got the morning band and, you know, started uh, doing songs in the garage. So, hence, Garage Morning Band. Then, we later dropped the band and Garage Morning. I played the drums for uh, for Garage Morning. Drums and percussion. Actually, I was kind of a late bloomer into the music, uh, into anything music related. Actually, the first instrument that I learned how to play was uh, the guitar. Um, I was at, at first I was interested because it was like the most convenient thing, uh, the most convenient instrument that you could play because. Well, you could bring it anywhere. And then uh, I started learning that through my cousin. Uh, but then, um, when ar ar around 2007 or 2008, actually back at the same time that Garage Morning was starting, but I wasn't part of it yet. Um, I got into, I actually got into the pep band of our school, our cheering band, and that was uh, that was the first time that I exposed to the pug drums. And back then, that was just like the snare and the bass drum for marching bands. But then uh, it, it it evolved into an interest into actually learning how to play a drum set. So I sought help from my friend back then. Uh, he taught me the basics, but after that, it's pretty much just self-taught because I wasn't, uh, I wasn't, uh, I didn't have any formal, formal training or formal education with regards to uh, drumming. So I've been drumming for around ten years, almost ten years. <laughs> Actually, 
Sydney. No high school kasi. I was like, I transferred to a new school. So I only like started playing the guitar that time. Like acoustic guitar. The only time that I really gotten serious to like playing the guitar is when I um, bought my own electric guitar. No differently I guess uh, there are certain songs that start with the arrangements uh, just start playing them jamming through them from different uh, guitar riffs I guess and bass lines then start building into it and uh, start providing lyrics Other songs that start from the lyrics, uh, I start writing them down and trying to make a song out of it. Songs, yeah. producer namin. So, he usually gives me yung, uh, yung arrangements niya. Tapos, hihingi siya sa akin ng either verse or chorus, ganun. So, yung contribution ko dun was, um, I was actually in Switzerland dun time na yun. And then, uh, merong lake kasi sa May Lucerne. Sabi nung tour guide namin was, um, I think it was the Princess of Belgium. And then, she, she was in the car with the prince. And then, she died in a car accident. So parang naisip ko, holy crap, this is so sad. <laughs> so parang, uh, I just had to, parang I just had to use that emotion na lang din na parang, what if I was the prince? What if, what if the love of my life was beside me in the bed? So parang I tried to write something out of it. And then yun, fortunately, nung pag-uwi ko, punta kami sa bahay ko, nag-record kami with the lyrics and everything. It just worked out. We just blended together. You know, with um, First time din namin mag-record with March at that time. Mostly it revolves with Nick and with Roy, but uh, when I can, especially the drum parts, uh, sa percussion, I give my input then. Pa paunti unti lang naman. And kung yari may eureka moment ako sa sa ibang instruments, uh, binibigay ko rin naman, and they take that into consideration. Uh, 
when they wrote I've got you I guess uh, I think this was the time when Roy was in a really bad place uh, mentally and uh, I remember that one of the uh, one of the things that was keeping him keeping him and keeping us uh, together was our friendship with each other and so that that was like the main motive main theme of the song was that uh, everything could be so confusing and make no sense but in the end our friends are uh, what our support system is Actually, that's um, how most of the songs of Garage Morty start off. Like, he would like send in like a song that's like half polished now, and we would just um, tell him or like comments and everything you know, what, what we would like to improve or like the lyrics that we would like to change. And, yeah. Because nga, we have day jobs, we barely have time to like write all together. So mostly, si Nick would be, I don't know, siguro yun nga din yung passion niya, like as a songwriter. He would really make time to like write songs and um, the composition and everything. And you know, we're just uh, there to help him whenever he needs more help. But then also in the future, we would like to like write as a band. The band. Yun yung plan namin for the future years. Our biggest struggle was actually thinking about how to get our music out there. Because now, um, anyone can just record on their phone, on their microphone. They, anyone can produce now. And dami ng producers. So, the biggest challenge was actually getting our content out there and getting people to notice them like uh, above everyone else. So I think now it's still a challenge for us, but uh, I think we're slowly getting there. Hopefully we are. Hopefully we're in the right direction. Sana naman, gusto ko mga tao, I mean, ano eh, this, this is what we love to do, so parang ano na rin. Uh, more than our passion, na rin. this is what keeps us, you know, what keeps us sane in a way. Um, you know, we work nine to five. Um, just, I just don't want to go home yet. Right? You want to do something else before going home. The struggle that uh, that that jumps out to me the most is uh, basically just maintaining and keeping that passion and uh, work ethic. Because uh, of course it's not easy to start uh, a band. Of course you have to uh, you have to put up with the reality that sometimes you're gonna play gigs where nobody's watching or nobody's listening or you're going to have uh, a lot of setbacks in your personal life like uh, your your career, your job and <clears throat> I guess for me uh, that's the most difficult part of the most difficult part of being a band member is 
uh, just trying to keep up that uh, that fire kumbaga whether it's one person or a hundred or more uh, you give you leave everything on the stage you gave me 100% of palagi 